Yo, what is going on guys? I'm Morris here bringing out a brand new Bush Gardens video. And in this video, we're actually going to be talking about something that's really interesting. Before we jump into the video, my new single, Blue Sweater, is out now. So go stream it. Link down below in the description. And as we're approaching the holidays, if you're thinking of some gifts to give some people, you can get some merch from winmoreshop.com. Got studio merch, single merch, and there's a bunch of merch there. So go check it out. There's a bunch of cool things there. From the title of this video, you're probably like, you're clickbaiting. I thought I would be too. I saw this circulating a little bit on Facebook groups in the comment sections, and I was like, I, I'm I'm not sure about that. Like, okay, this wishful thinking. I think a lot of us diehard Bush Gardens fans have had this thought that maybe this could be a possibility one day. But really, there was no chance. And then as the years have gone on, we just kind of accepted there wasn't a chance. Is there a chance now? Technically, yes. Let me put it this way. Technically, yes, but realistically, no. And what do I mean by that? So let's backtrack a little bit. So in 2008, the family of Anheuser Busch sold the company to InBev. And InBev wanted to get rid of the theme parks division. So they did, and they sold the parks to SeaWorld. Now, before they sold them, they had to kind of get the parks to a selling state to where a buyer would want to do it. So, the big consequence of that was the Big Bad Wolf. Because as you guys see what's happening to Loch Ness Monster right now with the refurb, pretty much what had to happen to Big Bad Wolf. And it was highly recommended that that happen to Big Bad Wolf. However, for InBev, preparing to sell this division and sell these parks to a new buyer, you don't want to sell a park to a buyer that has things that need to get fixed. You want to kind of just give them the park and say, all right, now add to it, do what you want. So that's what they did. SeaWorld bought the parks and Big Bad Wolf was closed. So if you're wondering why Big Bad Wolf closed and then get a refurb like Loch Ness Monster, there's your answer. So for years and years, SeaWorld has had Bush Gardens and SeaWorld has gone through the ups and downs financially and in the public eye. We're not going to go into that, but they had started to become more on the upside. And there are some stats that help show that Bush Gardens in particular, Busch Gardens Williamsburg is the main moneymaker for SeaWorld in their parks. So why would they want to get rid of Busch Gardens? This is not a situation where they'd want to get rid of Busch Gardens. More or less, someone might try to buy out those parks. Now, it's not just Busch Gardens Williamsburg and Tampa that they'd be buying. They'd also be purchasing Water Country USA and Adventure Island because they were all under the Busch wing before they sold to InBev. Well, over the past year, the Anheuser Busch Beer Company under InBev has made some decisions that have cost him a lot of money. The family of Anheuser-Busch was not too pleased with the negativity surrounding the company that their family built. Now, the heir to the company has spoken out and said that they intend to attempt to buy back the Anheuser-Busch beer company from InBev, considering that the stock price is lower right now, so this would be the prime time to buy them because this will be the cheapest Anheuser-Busch will be. Does that mean that they're going to buy the parks back from SeaWorld? No, because if you buy back the beer company, that does not mean you're buying back the theme park division. That's a completely separate conversation. Now, there is a chance, and there are rumors, that the company intends to buy back the parks so everything that was originally under the Anheuser-Busch wing is back. And a lot of fans have gotten excited about the potential fact that we're going back to Anheuser-Busch that's going to save everything. I'm critical of SeaWorld. I'm not going to try to deny that. Right now, we're not talking down the line. We're talking about immediately, right now, one to three years. What good would happen if we were bought out by Anheuser-Busch? Because as I've said before, Anheuser-Busch right now is at the lowest price it would ever be. That means they're losing money. We are now returning from being part of a company that was losing money. The money line is just starting to go up and that's why Williamsburg is getting so many improvements and new rides and refurbishments and remodeling. But also, on the other hand, the Anheuser-Busch family has been very proactive saying we want this company to return to the identity it was before. As a diehard Busch Gardens fan, and as for a lot of you guys, you hear that and you're like, so if they buy back Busch Gardens, we're going to go back to the old country style things. We had already gotten away from the old country long before they sold to InBev. With the return that SeaWorld has been doing kind of to old country style things, do we think Anheuser-Busch would go all in? And I wouldn't get my hopes up. They were, they were getting away from it. To me, this is not a lot of financial upside right now. If you had this conversation, the family buys back the beer company from InBev, turn it around, they start making money and are now in a positive public eye again. Then there's a conversation where you're like, okay, there might be some pros to this. But right now, where we stand with the park, SeaWorld is the better option. I know some of you guys probably don't want to hear it, but I believe you look at the facts. It is. Let's take a gander at the past few years. So obviously we had Pantheon, which is a pre-pandemic thing, opened up post-pandemic. 
So, you know, we'll, we'll count it. We have Dark Coaster. We have Loch Ness Monster, The Legend Lives On. We got the major refurb to Squire's Grill. Remodeling of all the bathrooms. The new restaurant coming to Water Country. And new rides coming to Water Country, like the Water Coaster and the new ride this year. They are adding a lot to these parks. And we've seen things go, like Mock Tower. That was a SeaWorld decision. They built it. It didn't work out. They took it to the chin. Got rid of it. Also, one thing SeaWorld has done, they've taken a lot of things that Busch Gardens Williamsburg started and implemented it at their other parks, such as Hallow Scream. I don't think we've seen Christmas Town yet, but I feel like we all know that's coming. Monster Stomp. Literally, Monster Stomp on Ripper Row was taken to an actual SeaWorld park. And other events have been taken to other SeaWorld parks, as well as Busch Gardens has had some SeaWorld traditions come in. The upside of going back to Anheuser Busch would Hallow Scream would now become a Busch Gardens centric thing. These things that SeaWorld has said, oh, that works so great at Busch Gardens, let's take it to these other parks. You'd be able to stop that. I am not a bank expert i don't know how these things work if there was a chance that the family wanted to buy back i do not know if they would be able to just buy out the parks from SeaWorld, which would be a lot of money money that they might not have right now and would SeaWorld be willing to sell because if you look at the stats where williamsburg and tampa are the big parks profiting for SeaWorld, why would they get rid of the things that are making them money and like i said i've, I've been critical of SeaWorld, but you can't deny the decisions they've been making have been good for Busch Gardens Williamsburg. And as you go back to last video, the things that they're talking about, they're good things. And the park president said last week that SeaWorld gives them a lot of leeway. They SeaWorld really doesn't get into their ear too much. You know, obviously when it comes down to the nitty gritty or final decisions, yes, yeah, SeaWorld's probably gonna have a say so. But when it comes to ideas and park centric problem solving, that's the park and leadership. SeaWorld doesn't really have a part in that. SeaWorld's name is just at the head of it. So there is such a good thing going now where he asked me a year or two ago, I probably would be like, please, Ann House of Bush, please come save us. Now, I'm not so sure where I stand because I still have a bunch of problems with how SeaWorld has handled a lot of things. And I think there's still a lot of problems that need to be solved. But if you look at the betterment of Bush Gardens, the brand, what's better for it? The company that's making money and is letting them kind of go buck wild with refurbishments and building the park up or a company that has not a lot of money right now and a lot of things that get stripped away. And let me put this in perspective. This thing for a lot of this monster needed to happen, right? Well, a year ago, Anheuser Bush bought Bush Gardens back from SeaWorld. And this is a big money thing. Who could be sure if we were ran by Anheuser Busch right now, we would have the money to do this big Loch Ness Monster refurb. There's no guarantee. There might have been a chance that Loch Ness Monster would either be run until it's falling apart or if had to get taken down. You have to face those realities. Now, obviously, the big upside if SeaWorld sold back to Anheuser Busch, we get rid of Sesame Street, which for that alone makes me want to get back to Anheuser Busch. But I've seen so much discourse of people saying, is this possible? Is this possible? And technically, yes. In the way events are playing out, yes, because the Bush family is looking to buy back the beer company and then after that, buy back possibly the theme parks division. There's so many ifs. Let's embrace the moment right now where we are at Bush Gardens. All right, Bush Gardens fans, let's embrace this moment. We are finally at an upside for the park. Good things are happening to the park. Things that we have asked for are happening, are being discussed, are being planned. The park is being more open with us than they have been for years. We got such a good thing going. Why let it stop? And I'm not seeing a SeaWorld is now the great company. I'm not. They've hurt me. They've probably hurt you as a Bush Gardens fan several times. They've made some bad decisions that make us question a lot of things. But at the end of the day, you gotta look versus the pros and the cons. And it's just more cons right now. We're talking about right now. Like one to three years. That's what we're talking about. You would like to see Anheuser Busch buy back the beer company, turn everything around, make money, and then we can have that conversation of Okay, does Anheuser Bush buy Bush Gardens back? SeaWorld at Tampa just got the awesome coaster of Iron Gwazi that is just, you know, amongst coaster enthusiasts, is one of the best coasters in the world. Pantheon, one of the best coasters in the world. Dark Coaster, they could have gone a completely different theme, but they decided to let us stay with the Dark Castle theme. Even though Dark Castle was an Anheuser Bush property. A lot of decisions. When I first read about this, I was originally like, if this were to happen, yes, I love it. But over the past few months, as I've really 
been thinking about it and going to the town hall and listening to a lot of things the park has been saying, I'm like, I think we're in a good spot. We're in such a good spot. Why do we want to possibly dismantle everything good that's happening? Because we want to go back to the old, which we feel is safe. It could be a bad thing if we went back. It would be a bad thing right now. That's for sure. So we'll see how the years play out. As my final verdict to you guys are probably wondering, so are you saying we are or not going to get bought out? Who knows? Never say never, nothing immediate, but I saw it starting to gain traction in comment sections and a little bit of discourse here and there. And I was like, well, let's, let's talk about it. Let's really look at it from a bird's eye view. There's upsides and there's downsides. And you really have to focus on what's the best, not for you, for the park. And that's why I believe as of right now, as of today, Wednesday, November 22nd, it is the better option that Bush Gardens and all of our sister parks that were under the bush wing remain with SeaWorld for the foreseeable future. Ask me again in a year, my answer might be different. If you're a Busch Gardens fan and you're trying to figure out how you feel, we're good where we're at. And if you're not sure, go watch my last video. All those things the park is talking about, all the things the park is doing. And I think you'll change your mind. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure to like this video if you enjoyed. Make sure to hit that bell button down below so you know every single time I upload a brand new video to the channel. Make sure to go stream my new single, Blue Sweater, wherever you listen to your music. Make sure to go check out the merch at willmoreshop.com. My name is Will Morris, and I'm out. Peace. With my blue sweater.